Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sunday Best Episode 8. I'm Gavin Kelly. And I'm Yusuru Jinnison. Welcome back to another exciting episode. <laughs> so <laughs> excited. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> so excited. So much has happened. Oh my goodness. Yo, this week, I think this week's going to go down in history as like one of the most craziest weeks in the news. Yeah, no, this this uh, this was quite eventful this week. Yo, bruh. It, it was crazy. It's ups ups and, downs. and downs. There was murder. It was, it was, it was, it was ups in certain ways and then downs on the floor with a knee to the neck. <laughs> US officer char char yo, US officer charged with murder over unarmed black man's death. Um yeah, it's hectic. Uh, my question is, do you think this is a catalyst? This is gonna be the thing that finally stops all of it. The tipping point. Nah, dude. I mean, if you think about police brutality, I mean, if you've ever watched a documentary called uh, Banned from TV, I mean, this stuff's been happening since the 70s, 80s, 90s. The only difference is now everything's documented because everybody's got like cell phones so we can record yeah. the reason. You know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well, like, I think because the way it was caught as well, it made it so visceral. I feel like, you know, when you watched it on your phone, it was like, wow. This is crazy. Because if it's like if it was just the headline, I don't think we'd care so much. But now that it was well, I mean, on the phones. If you, if you look at the photo, it is a headline. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bruh. This is some hectic I feel like the police need a referee because this guy's like wrestling this dude. Like they need to travel with a referee. Yeah, you know what the scariest thing about that video was is that we all witnessed a death, bro. Like a real life, yeah. actually not a death, a murder. Dude. It's a murder. We all yeah. witnessed a murder, and this guy got away with murder. It's ridiculous because he's a white police officer. Yeah, well, he's got arrested now, so he's he's been oh, charged. Okay, so he's been arrested. And, and the other two, because there were two guys watching us. Well, there's an Asian dude who had like a bro. stomach stomach strap. This Asian guy. I'm like, bro, but you're also a minority. Why aren't you? <laughs> This is black on black crime, bro. It's just <laughs> like, damn, you didn't like Russia that much. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is, why, what's up with his belly? Does he have like a strap that tucks in his belly? Like, a check bullet, that. A bulletproof mukaba. Oh, it's a bulletproof mukaba. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because it's, it's vital organs there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he put, but, he put like six, he put like six dumplings in there. <laughs> Why did it have to be dumplings, bro? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, but yeah, man. I don't know. I think it's not going to be a tipping point as well because Donald Trump is still the president, man. Yeah, look, I mean, dude, let's... It's a, the US itself, America as a nation, dude, if you think about their justice system and their police force and the history in terms of a lot of former KKK working in in the police force and a lot of like confiscated drugs that trickle into the police force this that's this is a result of that bro and mm. you know it just leaves heads rolling or, you know heads it's, on the floor yeah heads on the floor dude it's, hey bro yeah, yeah i know uh also it's weird how this made us forget that the coronavirus was happening and reminded us that there's still a pandemic of racism in the world exactly bro i mean it is a pandemic I mean, there's also like we like we almost forgot the social issues that we're dealing with in the world because of this, you know, virus. At the end of the day, we still have to deal with the other issues once the virus. Yes, opens. it's crazy. Like the virus is a distraction now from also what really still matters, like race. Exactly, a lot, of, a lot of conspiracy theorists actually back that idea in terms of how COVID nineteen is a cover up for a lot of things that are actually going on in the world. You know, a lot of political decisions, a lot of yeah. illuminatus bullshit. <laughs> right. I don't know about 5G and all about that, but no, it is distracting 5G, us. Mm. It yeah. is distracting us. And this reminded us. This this totally reminded us. That's why. And it was so powerful. Like the cell phone thing again. I think it's amazing. Like shout out to the cell phone camera. It's doing the most. Yeah, no, dude. It's it's. I'm also glad that this technology is out there for us to actually see what's really going on. Because before, mainstream media would cover up things like this. We wouldn't see it yeah. because, you know, it's consider yeah. a negative image for their police force. So. Yeah, but I didn't know Minneapolis. Thought, I thought Minneapolis was one of those 
Well, I don't really know much about the U.S. I thought maybe it's only the South. Is Minneapolis in the South? I don't know, eh? But also, what's the basic question? Is America the most racist country in the world? Mm, that's interesting. The, where's the stats on that, eh? I know. Well, America, America didn't have apartheid, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it is a competition, right? Maybe Australia, because all the races go to Australia. There's no like. I think people, yeah. I think we're still number one, bro. I think we're still holding the medal, the gold medal. Damn, you think South Africa's still number one? Damn. <laughs> wow. Number one. It's the only the only difference is here. We're just casual about it. It's a joke to us now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I keep joke. It's a joke, bro. We just call each other Maguera Guera Likula. We just it's 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 so free here. Like we don't give a shit. Yeah. Whereas the US just... political correctness and what's going on with the justice today, people care about it. Here it's still like ah, you know, there's just yeah. black people that who's crazy and that's it, you know. So And we just make I think sat- the, satire of it. Yeah, I think the scariest thing about in South Africa is that, you know, because our, we don't have a white police force, but we still have a, a, a racial complex or like a, a, a sub what's what's the word? like a subconscious racism in, in amongst ourselves you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah 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 definitely we, because of whitewashing you know so yeah we put everybody in the in a box because of their race exactly we don't call I mean, it racism I, we just yeah like when, for example for myself i mean what box do i tick i mean there's indian asian and i'm sri lanka and so now sri lanka is in Asia, but it's I'm not Indian, so like <laughs> you got a a little bit of both. Like, so do I take and like and also mm. also the racial classification system is so stupid. It's it's white, black, Indian, Asian, other, and like white and black are polar opposites of light. And then Asian is a continent, Indian is a nationality. Who's created this <laughs> racist system? It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> racist. That's who, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was the white man that invented those forms. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, shit, dude. Yeah, well, I think nothing's gonna change. That's the saddest thing about this. I don't. Well, think I, I don't know. But I hope. Yeah, like that's the thing. The change doesn't. You know, we can share videos. We can protest with images, and you know, like sharing clips mm. of guys talking about how this has been happening for a while. The change starts with people in power, and those people in power need to start realizing what the fuck they're doing wrong, man. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it starts at the top, and then all the way to the bottom, boys. Yeah, it trickles down, bro. It trickles down. It's a platform on its own, bro. How to fix this? It's, it's a pyramid scheme, bro. It's a pyramid. Scheme. <laughs> it's it's I, herbal life, bro. <laughs> it's herbal life. Herbal life is racism. Racism <laughs> is herbal life. <laughs> 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 So white woman is fired after calling police on black man in Central Park. Yeah, this was crazy. I, a lot of what I noticed, a lot of people were saying about this is how she weaponized her tears. That's crazy that you can weaponize yeah. your tears. Like you're like you're some transformer. That's like insane to me, dude. Yeah, she but like that's weaponized this... her tears. She weaponized her race. She weaponized yeah, that's, her gender. That's this, the skill set that Karens have. They use emotional. <laughs> You know, Karens have these weapons as a skill set, but an emotional manipulation with police officers, racial, like using their subconscious racism to to get them to make a decision. The, yeah. this, that's, that's the saddest thing about this is that she she wants action to be dependent on on her uh, the racial prejudices, which is you know, and, and the, the worst thing is she shouldn't have a dog. The way she treated this fucking dog. <laughs> hey, bro, apparently they took the dog away from her as well. She lost the job I'm and dead. she lost I'm the dead. dog. She lost the dog, dude. Because that was, <laughs> that's what this video was about at the end of the day. The dude told her, like, listen, the regulation in the park is have a lease on your dog. She wasn't listening. And yeah. then she tried to, she couldn't, she couldn't handle the fact that a, a black person was telling her what to do. That's how racist she was. It's yeah, ridiculous. man. And this... You're right about Karen's being having that skill set, that skill set to use emotion against you. She literally did weaponize her 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 race, her tears, her <laughs> the poor dog. Hey, that poor dog. I will spend for that dog, dude. That's that's the victim in all of this. The victim in all of this was that dog. <laughs> Yo, bro, who got it worse? George Floyd or the dog, bro? Yo, oh, well, the dog is still alive. <laughs> 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 the dog well, is still alive. Well, I think both both the necks were being strangled, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 
It's tough out here for black people and dogs, bro. God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. bro. Yeah, but it's crazy. Her punishment. Imagine getting fired and you lose your dog. Apparently, the guy who took this uh, video said, like, yo, I don't think she deserved for her whole life to be torn down. Yeah, obviously, look, I mean, that shows how much empathy this dude has. Is that yeah, he's, he's not an as, asshole about it. Exactly. As racist as that lady was, yeah, he obviously feels for because look, I mean, look, all he wanted to do because he's a bird watcher. All he wanted was the rules and regulations to be followed in the park. That's all he yeah. cared about. This whole racism thing was her fault. It's her fault. She must deal with it. She must bite the bullet. You know, she must. Consequences she must for your actions. Yeah, there's always got to be consequences, man. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. They both named Cooper. Their surname is both Cooper. Who the whose name is Cooper? The the lady. This is Miss. Yeah, this is, her name is Mrs. Cooper, and he's Mr. Cooper. Oh damn! Yeah, you, make, how random. you make a movie out of this, dude. Like <laughs> the when the Coopers met. <laughs> when the Coopers met. <laughs> ah, dude, it's so sad, right? So yeah, this racism thing is still happening, guys. Yeah, I know, dude. It won't end in a long time. I mean, with uh, with education, education and is mixed crazy. race, mixed race babies, right? Do not go to church. You're going to die. It's a trap, says Malema. But look, can you, you know the thing about this is, I don't know what he's talking about, it's always been a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing changed, player. Ain't nothing changed. Look down and all up, dog. Church is, <laughs> so religion, religion has always been a trap, bro. Right, it's, it's herbal life. It's another, it's another herbal life, bro. <laughs> religion is a tax free trap, dude. It's, oh. Yeah, what's his name in Boro? He's just selling you herbal life. In, Did you see that video of Bushiri? Of Bushiri um, giving sermons on Zoom, and this one guy starts yeah. giving concerts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he just disappears off out of screen. Off the screen, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bruh, that must be so awkward at home, dude. You're just like by yourself. <laughs> Imagine if the wife or the girlfriend walks in and is like, what are you, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> the fuck? Not this shit again. This is why I don't go to church with you, baby. <laughs> I'm like I, I must I must stop feeding you so much sugar. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. But uh, what I like about this is that it's freedom of choice as well. Like, yo, you want to go get your hallelujah on? Go get your hallelujah on. You know? Yeah, but look, look, dude. Can I tell you something personally? As a stand-up comedian, this whole religion thing pisses me off because the limit is fifty people in. A, 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 what it calls a religious gathering. My religion is comedy, bro. You know, I believe <laughs> I believe in laughter. Can't I get fifty people and just have my own sermon? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's true. Eh? It's true. What is uh, the Lord? <laughs> what is the name of your church? The Church of Comedy. The Church. <laughs> the ha ha belief system, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's the ha ha hallelujah. <laughs> Tuesday night at Kitchener's, yeah. <laughs> 20 Rand donation. <laughs> but look, I'll be honest, I mean, we, we, we barely get a, a recall as an audience of 50 people anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <right. laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to social distance an empty room. <laughs> yeah, dude, we can get four people. And that's our show, bro. I didn't, I didn't know that church was a trap. I thought it was more gospel. Ah. <laughs> ah, that was a good one, right? That was a good one. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, people are gonna go. But what's nice is the the big ones, like ZCC said, like, nah, we're not doing anything. Yeah, yeah it's quite like, it's quite interesting though. The Islamic faith, a lot of the the what do you call this, the mosques, they said no. ZCC said no. So who's this for, Bushiri? It's for the hustlers, for the... This is where we separate the men from the boys, bro. This is... <laughs> the angels from the for, demons! <laughs> <laughs> from the... The cotton suits to the... the to the... What? Silk, bro. To the silk suits, The silk bro. suits. This is, yeah, this is for the silk suits... Um, clergymen. <laughs> silk, aren't silk suits really hot, bro? That's why these... Because they're always sweating, bro. <laughs> I thought it was the Holy Spirit. It's just the silk. It's just the silk, bro. 
Okay. Well, people, good luck. I'm, good luck, yeah, good luck. I, I, many blessings, many blessings. <laughs> that's the thing. We all got our own church. For you, it's Church of Comedy. And for me, it's the Church of Pussy. I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> Where are you going? Which, which whole house are you going to, bro? <laughs> I don't know. As long as it's not that, if they, as long as there haven't been fifty men before, I'm not going. I'm not going, bro. Uh, it'll probably be fifty men in one day, bro. <laughs> yeah, Mzansi praises Jab Jab for his Ua Jola nine nine yeah, percent. Right, it's yeah, dude, it's, not, it's Jub Jub. <laughs> what did I say? Jub Jub. jub. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. My bro, bad. Your, 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 uh, your wife's, your wife's uh, tendency came out, bro. <laughs> Imzanzi. <laughs> Imzanzi. <laughs> hey, bro, it's a free show. It's a free show. Jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's hilarious. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'll read, I'll read it, bro. Mzanzi praises Jup Jup for his Uya Jola 99 presenter skills. Is it skills, bro? <laughs> so now, my question is, have we forgiven him now? Have we proper forgiven him? He's, he's good. Yeah, no, he's, dude, we've, we've, he's, we've forgiven yeah. him a while back, bro. But oh, I yeah. must say, dude, like, mm. the show is really entertaining. I really like it, but I, this guy's an instigator, bro. He's a serious yeah, well, instigator. <laughs> that's what he's, that always he's paid to do. Uh, so they're praising him. If you guys didn't watch the show, it was lit. Yeah, so Yo Joy 99 left shook by Aldo's episode. It was set in Aldo's, okay? So, like you said, he is an instigator. This is where he goes, putsi, 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 no, no. <laughs> and he's like, my sister, where's your nunu? <laughs> Here's my nunu. <laughs> But yo, dude, this episode was crazy. I thought those dogs were gonna come out and bite yeah. you, man. Yeah, you, uh, you're interesting talking about Dylan. Um, Cause people were saying like, it reinforces uh, colored stereotypes and like it was a bad look on colored people and a misrepresentation sort of, you know. There was that sort of conversation happening after this episode as well. Uh, my but thing why, is, but why though? That's uh, that's ridiculous. I mean, when <clears throat> they had Congolese people on a few episodes back, are you gonna start saying it's a misrepresentation of people from Congo? If you have Tana people, you're gonna say it's, it's just reality, bro. People, people are cheating, bro. The who is life that's, out there, you know? So, yes, <laughs> that's also the thing. <laughs> it's a show about adultery. You yeah. know, the show is called Eo Jola Nine Nine. It's not called Colored Excellence. It's not called. It's yeah. not called Black Excellence. It's called exactly. We Are Jolla 99. Unfortunately, like, yeah, dude, there's just going to be ratchet people out here cheating. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, look, um, I mean, I don't know I mean, whether it's ratchet or not. People cheat. Even non-ratchet people cheat. I mean, polygamy yeah, but is, they, is natural. It's, it's but, <laughs> but non-ratchet people aren't calling We Are Jolla 99 to come, <laughs> to come bust their partner on suspicion of cheating. For me, I was more worried about, like, in fact, when I watch this show, I just think, I mean, what happens after the show, dude? Like, this guy now, Jup Jup comes and severs a relationship or a whole dynamic, and then there's possible violence, and, you know, what happens afterwards? That's, that's the scary part. The nice thing is Jup Jup does have, like, a counseling service that, or whatever they have a thing after the show where they offer counseling and help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's important. That needs to happen. It's interesting that there's never white people on the show. Yeah, yeah. there's never because white people don't watch Uya Jola Nine Nine. Unfortunately, yeah, they're not gonna watch Uya Jola Nine Nine. But I bet you, if white people were on the show, there would be also like, like ratchet, ratchet white people, dirty. You know, like if the Unfriend had sex with Steve Hoffman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's sort of. But if, that sort of Steve, level if, of white people. If Steve Hoffmeyer mm. was on Uya Jola 99, this show would be Steve Hoffmeyer every week, bro. It would just be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, Steve, again. again. Uh, Why again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Steve would be the staring of Uya Jola 99. Also, I mean, why would white people watch the show? I mean, they call Jup Jup Jab Jab. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. So this one, watch. Zodra about to expand her portfolio to penis enlargement consultant. Right. Um, yeah, penis penis enlargements are still happening, guys. <laughs> During Corona, bro. <laughs> guys are still out here feeling insecure. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, it's mm. just. I think it's a result of body shaming. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. Hey, I don't know, man. Yo. I mean, I, I guess it just takes like one girl, one woman to laugh at your penis. <laughs> and then, then you have this complex for the rest of your life, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah. What would you do if you had a small penis? I'm assuming you don't have a small penis. Well, I mean, look, small is very <laughs> relative, bro. So, you know, there's things like <laughs> micro penises. And then there's macro penises, you know? A macro penis Yo, is the guy who's an announcer at <laughs> macro. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious, bro. Ah, that's so funny. Dude, also, I, I, also don't, that I also don't believe in the size of the boat. I believe in the motion in the ocean, bro. Yeah, bro, facts. Also, if you have a small penis, then just oral sex, bruh. That will save you, bruh. Exactly, oral dude. Sex you, will save you. There's many ways to stimulate each other. Like, it doesn't matter yeah. what you use, bro. <laughs> there's more than one way to, yeah. To skin a cat. <laughs> to skin a pussy. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, guys out there, you don't need to stress, guys. It is what it is, man. You've yeah, got love your body. Penis, just, I mean, obviously, if it's a medical condition yeah. and you've got a micro penis, then yeah, sure, see a, see a, see a professional. But, dude, if you can, you know, manage in the bedroom, what are you worried about? Also, maybe Stroke just... game, oral sex. Also, maybe just check. Maybe your girl's is fair, but you know, so just... <laughs> Yo, Yo, why is there so, so much, much space, space in here, baby? baby? Ah, mm. <laughs> Wait, where's Batman? The fucking cave in here! <laughs> the size of macro in here! So when I'm eating pussy, I can get my echo! <laughs> 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 where's the, where's where's the, the audio, audio settings? settings? You need to take, take off echo. echo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like COVID 19 here because it sounds like there's a, I've seen a bat or two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you know what you never see is penis, penis reduction. reduction. You, you know, know women get breast reduction. reduction. You, you never see penis, penis reduction. No, dude, but that happens a lot actually. Eh? A lot of guys, in fact, there are, there are guys out there who, who actually have like, who are self conscious about having a really big dick. Yeah, I just so know my lo hey, my lower back feels it, bro. My lower back, yo. How can you be self-conscious about having a big dick, mm -hmm. dude? That's like driving <laughs> a Ferrari and feeling bad when you leave the guy next to you on the robot. <laughs> yeah, bro. You got that big dick privilege. Why would you just squander that? Feeling insecure about a big mm -hmm. dick is like is like having a Ferrari and feeling bad about the environment. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> hectic as fire, bro. But even the guy with the world's largest, like the world's largest penis, said it's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just, just another two, two centimeters, centimeters, man. Oh, good God! Yes, just imagine, imagine going, going in after, after that guy. guy. Yeah. yeah, after this guy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm not worried, worried about, about this guy. guy. Uh, Talk about, about the guy with the largest penis, penis in the world. Oh, uh, no, I don't think that guy can <laughs> have sex, dude. He has to have sex from like a distance. It's a long distance fuck. Mzanti reacts to Bonang Mateba and Nandi Madida's life advice. Uh, let's read what she says. I always say this is... This is two young. Pe I always say this to young people who work in my company. The ages eighteen to twenty-five years are so critical. If you waste that time being a rebel, wasting your parents' money, being cool, hanging around wrong circles, etc., you waste so much time before you know it. You're thirty with nothing to show to your life. <clears throat> so apparently, people got. <clears throat> apparently, people caught feelings. Yeah, I mean, rightfully so. Because they were I mean, telling them how age means nothing in terms of success. Some people get success at. 50 some people get success at 15 it's 
it's a very relative yeah. thing. And also, I must say, she, she was talking about wasting time, but she didn't waste a lot of Twitter space. She used your twice, and then the other time she used your <laughs> with an apostrophe. <laughs> and you're wasting my time reading this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, we don't, we don't all have the same privileges. We don't have big booty privilege like you, Nandi. Exactly, dude. Exactly. I mean, a lot of privileges... Uh, a nice stepping stone for people to reach a certain level. Yeah, Other people have different levels, yeah. you know. It's not. And also, what's successful to you is successful to me, you know. Like her, her company and whatever might be successful to them. Other people <clears throat> find, you know, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro a success or part of their life. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not polarized. It's not. It's a very great thing to say. Yeah, it's you can't generalize success. You can't in terms of age, especially. Yeah, it's a very relative concept. Yeah, but also go go down. Sense. I think there's other. I think Bonang said something as well. So she said, "Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, look at this. Here's for here's an example as well. Go to this person's tweet. Yeah, Pumzile Mlambo. What got his PhD? Got her PhD at 58. Now Lady Pando at 73. You know, it's Andres Conradi PhD 91. 91, bro, and he still did his PhD. Like, yes, yes. Doesn't matter what age, dude. Yeah." Yeah, man. Um, to each their own, man. To each their own. But yeah, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't ask for your, your advice, Bonang and Nandi. Hey. We didn't advise. <laughs> hey, but Zalems like to give us uh, the Bible of how to live, ne? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, Zalems, bro, they think they made it. Like, <laughs> now lockdown is, is chowing them and they're begging. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Like, look, I mean, us comics, yeah. we have it tough, but, hey, but, but I must say, both these girls are so nice, bro. I used to have, like, oh, Nandi, I thought Nandi Madil would have been mine, but she got married, and like, so. To Zakes? Yeah, yeah, you know, that voice. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right, now I have to, now I have to go play house music. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, and Bonang seems high maintenance. Yeah, I don't know. It's... You can't take Bonang to Chicken Licken, bro. You can't propose a Chicken Licken, and they won't sponsor it. <laughs> but yeah, live your life, live guys. Your life, guys. Malsi would love more Spice Girls reunion. Games. We wouldn't. <laughs> hey, bro. Yo, bro. Like, that ship is sailed, bro. There's no hype over the Spice Girls, bro. Dude, I can't believe she's asking for more, like, more gig, like, reunion gigs. It's like, I mean, uh, is she telling us what she wants, what she really, really wants? <laughs> you know she doesn't want reading yeah. gigs. She just wants a ziggy zig ah. <laughs> just one more ziggy zig ah. Yeah. One more. <laughs> but the Spice Girls ha- did have some hits. That's yeah, dude. Did, did, did you listen to the Spice Girls when you were a kid, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. They were there. They were there in the media for me. They were there on the television. <laughs> I like Viva Forever. You didn't buy an album, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that deep in the game. Uh, the is, I was kid. Track six of album. I, I was one. I was uh, confused as a kid because I saw Spice Girls and I was like, "There's not a single Indian girl." <laughs> 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 oh, that's fire, bro! Yo, that's fire. <laughs> but which which one did you like when you were a kid? Which one did you want to smash, bro? Or want to have as your girlfriend? Yo, uh, Posh, yeah, yeah, Victoria Beckham, honey. But now, but now that I'm an adult man, I wanna, I want scary. Yeah, that's true. Hey, that's weird. As a, as a kid, I wanted Victoria Beckham as well. Victoria, but she's Beckham now, so. Uh. <laughs> But I was looking at the videos today. They were all fine. They were, they were. They were all good looking, bro. Even the the one Baby that spice. was the weakest was still pretty like that. Baby yeah. spice, Emma. Nah, sporty spice. This is sporty, sporty spice, spice, bro. Yeah, she aged pretty well, eh? Damn. Yeah, she looks like Demi Moore now. Yeah, she has got that look. When women age, they just go tight. If they <laughs> this like this weird tight thing that they got to do. No, I think that's just celebrities, dude. Because celebrities get like. Plastic surgery and stuff done facelifts. Yeah, that's what. This like if you go to if you go to Blackburn, you won't see hey. the same mm. type looking woman, bro. I mean, crack, snapple, and pop up in there, bro. Yeah. 
But also, what is this chick doing now, bro? Because is she playing sports? I hope she's playing sports because that's an that's a anti climax. <laughs> How did they? Ch- also, how did they choose the spite girls, bro? It was uh, did they fight over? It? I feel like scary spice. Like, what is that? Why are you scary spice? Why? No, because she had the, the the mane and the hair, so she was like, <laughs> she's that one, like scary. <laughs> ah, <laughs> boo! And then, oh, and then damn, scary. Sporty spice. Sporty spice used to wear the track suits. So like, okay, track suits. Yeah. Sporty. What's banana, spice? banana, banana, banana vibes. Uh, yeah. And, and then I think Emma. Spice. I think what's her name? Emma, the baby spice. Yeah. She looked like a baby, so she had a baby <laughs> face with baby spice. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> She's so innocent with the blue eyes yeah. and blonde hair. And what's the red and one? Po- posh spice was obviously because it was posh. Oh, she like. Oh, ginger spice. Wasn't the other yeah. one ginger spice? Yeah, that's that was that was an easy one. Eh? She couldn't be anything else but ginger, bro. That's pretty messed up, dude. That was some racist shit, bro. Just call it Jesus, like, just like that, bro. <laughs> like, ah, at least turmeric and yana or something. I don't know. Yeah, like, like, imagine, like if I was in the Spice Boys, they call me what? Raj, Raja man. <laughs> <laughs> Raja Spice. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> if you were a Spice, that Spice, that's the Spice you would be. <laughs> Raja man. <laughs> well, would what be, would you be, God, bro? What would like, you be? I don't know. <laughs> Aramet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I remember all that MSG, dog. Yeah. All that MSG. Like mad and healthy for you. Yo, dude. It tastes good, but it's it's going to kill you. Just <laughs> uh, yellow salt, bro. That's what it is. India yogi who claimed to live without food or water dies age, age 90. He's uh, this guy. This guy's face <laughs> looks like he just saw a glass of water for the first time. <laughs> yo, that's gangster. This guy was like, "Yo, fuck Maslow hierarchy of needs." Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need food and water. What? They say he I'm died. Sure, of- I'm sure. I don't think it was ninety days that he. I mean, ninety years that he lived without food and water because that's that's <laughs> surely not possible. <laughs> he said. They said he died of old age. <laughs> I'm like, are you guys sure? Was it not like hunger? Wasn't it dehydration and <laughs> hunger, bro? Yeah. Old age got him, eh? Damn, right? Yeah, but his skin looks looks great. Looks shows that you don't actually need water for your skin to be great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. He pro is a bit without the facial hair. He looks like a skeleton, bro. Yo. Yeah, yeah, he's probably very skinny, you're right, eh? Go down and see what, what the article says in terms of... Spent de- he says he spent decades without food and water. You know, that's some of these lies. He probably, you know what, he obviously had to... But I mean, the, the Buddha did that as well, but it's like seven days at max is what your body can do. That's why there's like fasting systems and things like that, but... For this guy... They said, yeah, uh, we still... Do not know how he survives. Neurologist, bruh. It's a mystery of what kind of phenomenon this is. So they believe, eh? Yeah, they believe, bro. It's a spiritual belief system. The doctor took scans of organs, brain, blood vessels, conducted tests in his heart, lungs. Yeah, he said he, do, he used meditation as of, and yoga as a way to get through it. Mm. But I mean, it is true that meditation can help you suppress hunger and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Mind over matter. I mean, especially in like um, in Islam in Ramadan, a lot of the prayers are very meditative. Yeah. State yeah. because they focus on the prayer and the absence of food just becomes a norm, so it's easier to get by, you know. Yeah, but ninety years, it's impossible. <laughs> ninety years, this manka man. They need to carbon. They need to carbon date this guy. What he was he even ninety, bro? Maybe this guy's 12, bro. You went 12 years without food and water. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes, he did. Maybe, you... this is, maybe, obviously, this is something he said. And then maybe on the side, he, you know, he had to hustle a snack, yeah, and there. Now you just had to stick to the thing. Yeah, but would, would you want to live till 90, bro? He, if I'm doing something, yes. Or if you're saying if your body can do still do something. Yeah, if I'm doing something. Like Clint Eastwood is uh, 90 years old and he's still directing movies. 
Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, as long as your consciousness is still like, and your mind is still at a level that's, you know, sane. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, so not, yeah, I would go as much as I can, bruh. Fuck, bruh. Because I am definitely not taking Nandi's advice out there. You know, my life is not together <laughs> right now. <laughs> this guy clearly was, was not successful, bro. <laughs> At the age of 30, what was he doing at the age of 30? Yeah, yeah, mm. <laughs> wonder, bro. Wonder. He wasn't at the buffet, that's for sure. Yeah, Crazy. man arrested on suspicion of murder after wife dies from cobra bite. So, this guy has been arrested because apparently, allegedly, he took a, a cobra into his wife's room, and the cobra did what cobras do. do. Uh, yeah. So they don't they don't hire assassins in India. They hire cobras. cobras. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy this guy took the wrong snake into the bedroom. It should have been the one. <laughs> 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 Not that is in Yorka, bro. Ish. It's in Yorka. <laughs> Maybe this guy needed a penis enlargement. That's why he brought the cobra. <laughs> 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 no, Zodro could have helped him. <laughs> Zodro could have helped him <laughs> with a bigger cobra. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. interesting. It's interesting when white guys tell their wife they bring you a cobra home. They bring a nice fancy car. Mm -hmm. When <laughs> guys say they bring you home a cobra, it's an actual cobra. <laughs> it's an actual cobra to kill you. Yeah, they're saying this guy is dodgy and like he couldn't afford a divorce, so. Well. Well, I mean, if he was playing with cobras, he had to have been dodgy. Have you seen the way cobra moves, man? <laughs> <laughs> what is with Indians and cobras, though? Check this guy, bro. Having the time <laughs> no, of his life. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, look, a, a, a snake in India is actually considered in a lot of religions in India, like animals have a lot of spiritual, and some of them believe to be gods. So this is quite amazing, I think, bro. This. Yeah, like without a flute. That's amazing, dude. Without a flute? <laughs> <laughs> this snake is probably like, why are you giving it to me? There's a 90 year old man who needs it. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious, dude. Yo. Yes, this dude. And that thing is, yo, that thing will fuck you up, bro. Right? Yo. Imagine yeah, this like cobra cobra is actually doing some of the most dangerous snakes, bro. Yo, Check out his petting it, bro. He's petting it with fear. Oh, he's, he's saying prayers, I think. You're saying prayers. Yo, and the thing is, dude, in India and Sri Lanka and all these Asian, Southeast Asian countries or South Asian countries, they have, a lot of them wear slippers, bro. So these things can bite your toe. Twa! <laughs> Twa! Your big toe. Twa! Ah! <laughs> that would be my biggest paranoia, bro. Like, ah, uh, but you don't have toe, any toes. Bro, like, cunt, <laughs> cunt. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, but this reminds me of the fear. I think in India as well, like Vishnu, one of one of the gods in uh, in Hinduism, <laughs> the neck there's a snake around the neck, so it's it's considered quite holy. Yeah. Check, so, can you see the crow in the background eating garbage, bro? <laughs> <laughs> place is a mess, bro. India. <laughs> it reminds me of the the way black people also have they fear snakes. Yo, black people fear snakes, bro. Like it's a yeah, but that's because in Africa, bro, we've got things like black mambas and those things don't fuck around. <laughs> yeah, cobras don't fuck around. Yeah, but I mean, cobras, you can, I mean, they dance and shit, whereas black mambas, it's instinct to kill. Damn. You know? yes. Oh, really, eh? Shit, yeah. bro, bro. Yo. Did you yes. ever know anyone who had pet snakes, bro? No, I don't fuck with people that fuck with snakes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm a snakeist. I don't know if that's a word, but <laughs> no, I fuck a snake, bro. That shit is creepy as a motherfucker. Yo, yo, yo. That that snake is basically Takashi Takashi six nine on the internet, bro. <laughs> ah shit, yo, it's crazy, man. I thought this was America. Ah, Twitter tags Trump tweet with fact-checking warning. So what does this mean exactly? Every time he tweets, Twitter is literally going to fact-check. But that's, that's quite inconsistent. Don't you think it's a bit unfair? Do they, don't they fact-check everybody else's? Why is it only Trump's? Is it because people are actually listening to this dude? Or 
this it's getting airplay what yeah. is popular it's, yeah he's he's got a following we that's what we always forget there's people who voted for this guy there's people that follow this guy but even the whole anti-trump movement me, means you're still a, a trump follower because you're still checking up on what he's doing what he's saying so yeah damned if you damned if you don't whatever opinion you have of this guy in the media is bombarding us with this with this dude's bullshit. yep yep uh you can't it's been what almost three four years now He's been in the news almost practically every day. He's in the news every day, dude. Yeah, and we dude, just, he has to be. We just feel I don't really want to trash talk him a lot or America because one day I want to do some gigs into the US. And mm -hmm. if you say anything about the US on the <laughs> internet, you ain't going to get no visa to perform <laughs> in the US. <laughs> yeah, I still want to go to New York, man. So, hey. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm, FBI, I'm, I'm, CIA, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, can I perform? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking a side. I'm not picking a side. <laughs> We just we're just uh, reading news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. But yeah, it's, you. So wait, but what was the fact that he that they checked? It was the one about the COVID nineteen, or it coming from China, and all those accusations that he's making. This one. There, there is no way zero that Mali in ballots will be. Mali mail, dude. Mail in ballots. Oh man, hey, dyslexia boy. English, Baba. Should I read it? I'll read it. I'll read it. Yeah, I was reading it in a Trump. There was no way. Mail, ballots. Trump speaks like he's he's a con uh, conductor, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and he is, eh? He's conducting this shit. Yo, that that's deep, bro. That's yeah. why he's always he's always the butt of the joke. But ah, uh, he's he's winning, bro. And he won. He already won. He's the president of America. He won. So he said mailboxes will be robbed, ballots will be forged, and even illegally printed out and fraudulently signed. The governor of California is sending out ballots to millions of people, anyone. Look, I mean, don't, wasn't this guy in cahoots with, with Cambridge Analytica and they bombarded us with false information about their voting system and people voted through Facebook and then they manipulated society to, to vote for a certain like party exactly instead right. of... Mm -hmm. it's not, there's no such thing as democracy anymore, bro. It's gone. Yeah. Like it's yeah, it's it's capitalism. That's what it is now. Also, but why is Twitter trying to take a higher moral ground? Yeah, we don't give a fuck. Twitter, we know you dodgy. Facebook's dodgy. They're all fucking dodgy. Yeah, exactly. They're all doing. It. Google's doing it as well. Everyone just bombards us with yeah. some sort of AI that just you know uses our tracks our our movements and our patterns. So yeah, what do they call that uh, when they advertise just for you? What is that called again? Uh, what's that like machine learning yeah so like you know like you'll google something and then you go on instagram and then i think it's called targeted uh marketing targeted advertising targeted marketing okay yeah yeah targeted advertising where like you'll google something like you'll google hardware or like tools or something and then you go on instagram and on your timeline there's now an ad for like boulder's warehouse that's true not, not only just whatever you text in the microphone itself, dude, when you're speaking, have you ever noticed when you're having a conversation, let's say you and I talk about uh, microphones and uh, studio equipment, and we've never searched yeah. it before, all of a sudden we'll get adverts from different websites, Google websites. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, yeah you, I guess stuff. you must be be worried if one night, <laughs> one night you're having sex and you wake up in the morning and you see an ad from Zodwa Wabantu about a penis enlargement. <laughs> <laughs> or one night you fail to have sex and then you see an advert from Pfizer for erectile dysfunction. <laughs> yeah, so watch out for those targeted advertising, yeah. Shit. You couldn't get it up? Didn't get it all this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Can't get out of bed? <laughs> Try Pfizer. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon apologized for resurfaced blackface 2000 SNL skit. Yeah, and apparently it was 20 years ago, eh? Yeah. So he has his apology. The, the thing is, dude, do you think... I don't know if you've seen the clip. I haven't, man. Is it yeah? It's here. Oh, cool. Oh, is that him? Oh, yeah. shit. He went all the way blackface. Not even a little bit. <laughs> if you oh, a little bit, you're, you're colored, bro. Mixed face. <laughs> he didn't go yellow bone. He went straight... <laughs> Ah, oh, damn, bro. Black, blackface. Ah, oh, shit.
But I must say, dude, if you listen to his Chris Rock impersonation, is really good. I mean, uh, oh, it's a Chris Rock. The thing is, I want to know what does Chris Rock think about this because Jamie Foxx said there was nothing wrong with it. I mean, it was SNL doing comedy. But what I don't understand is, dude, it's now 20, 20 years ago. You're telling me this guy has already blown up. Jimmy Fallon is already a household name in the U.S. as a, as a comedian. He's got his own late night show. And only 20 years later do they cancel him. But these days, if, if something happens, for example, like, like Miss, Miss S.A. thing that happened last week, they will, before you even blow up, they cancel you. How did they allow Jimmy Fallon that much room to grow in the industry and then only pick it up? You know what I'm saying? Is it is it a fact where somebody just looks specifically, they have an agenda for you, then they look into it? Or is it mm. a, their standard in terms of are we actually doing background checks on, on entertainers before they become a household name? Yeah, it's an it's a interesting question, man. I don't think I think I think the time we live in now, especially it seems like the last two years, like cancel culture has blown up. So I think it's everybody's gonna get a turn eventually so i think it's just the time i think people didn't care about black fi blackface 20 years ago 15 years ago maybe like now it's 200 easy. years ago yeah <laughs> but yeah i don't know also jimmy fallon you know did he write the sketch it's snl where's the like like come on it's not like he did it at home it wasn't a exactly. it's not him alone party. why are they blaming Jimmy Fallon, as if the directors and the writers didn't say, okay, this is what you're going to do, Jimmy. We're going to get some Kiwi, protect your shoes, uh, shoe polish, and we're going to slap it on your face. You're going to talk like Chris Rock. I mean, yeah. someone obviously gave the go-ahead. My favorite blackface is uh, Robbie Downer Jr. in Tropic Thunder. Yes. I oh, that, that was funny. That, that was hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. But when you Yo, watch it now, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> Nah, I still laugh. I'm like, that shit is funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like the part when he's like, survive! <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody's gay once in a while. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got so many quotables. I, I love that movie. That movie's funny. That's a damn good movie, dude. It's, Yo, it's, it's probably, directed probably by Ben Stiller ben and Stiller, it's written yeah. by Ben Stiller. Yeah, Ben Stiller's quality, man. Talking about cancel culture, it doesn't stop now. Uh, so this is our Miss South Africa. Uh, she so, apologizes so, for yeah. social media posts after Bianca Shumbi backlash. Yeah, uh, she she probably saw, after she after she saw the headline, she's like, "Hey, let me quickly just." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, right in 2012, it was lit. She was out here running her mouth. If one forces sex on a prostitute, is it considered rape or shoplifting? And then, yeah. Yeah. They come, huh? <laughs> I must say, dude, um, I don't really like rape jokes. I think rape jokes, rape jokes are, are tasteless. Um, I have heard some good ones. This is a very old one. I've heard this joke before. Have you not heard it? Yeah, it sounds like an internet joke. It sounds like something the internet. I think Casper tweeted the same thing. So I'm really, I'm really disappointed in both of them because, you know, I, I think uh, prostitution is is a noble career move and it helps out a lot of men especially men struggling with penis enlargement issues <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know why they have to they have to make you know insult prostitutes and then make jokes out of rape yeah bro it's crazy yeah and she's miss universe now Ooh. <laughs> that's what someone's saying someone was saying i saw the tweets and the responses she's our universe now she can say whatever she wants <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, like at the end of the day, she's not getting cancelled because she's dope. Let's 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 admit it. She's facts. But yeah, people, have you ever gone through your old tweets or Facebook posts? Woo, I told you, dude, I man. tried, but it only ends at the beginning of ni of twenty nineteen. So if there's I anything through, before that, I'm fucked. <laughs> you need to go. You go look, bruh. I I've I've seen mine. Yo, I was ignorant as fuck, bruh. Yeah, uh, let's read this. Yeah, let's read the it. next one. Very, very dark skinned girls with blonde weaves looking like Duracell batteries. We <laughs> hashtag we see you. It's kind of funny, I won't lie. <laughs> that, that's actually like very funny. It's very funny. <laughs> you look like a Duracell battery. Yeah, that's funny, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Now, I, I would re retweet that. Yeah, I would too. I think that's mm -hmm. quite hilarious. And also, I mean, uh, she's black. She can say whatever she wants about being dark and being black. It's, it's, you know, it's not an issue. That's true. You can make fun of Sri Lankans. I can make fun of white people. Those are the rules. Those are the rules, bro. <laughs> Although on, this, play, although on this show, game. on this show we make fun of everybody. <laughs> All of. All of. <laughs> because it's a free show. Hey. You get roasted. You get roasted. Everybody gets roasted. Uh, white girl's Facebook name Samantha Josephs. Indian girl Puja Naidu. Black girl <laughs> Chumar Babalicious dope ass chick Bandla. I, I, yeah, that's, I don't know, that's, that's not really offensive or anything. That's not, I don't know, it's not even funny either, it's just like, okay. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. It's like terrible observational comedy. <laughs> and shame, she apologized for that. Ah, uh, well, okay. Yeah, but we obviously, forgive. dude, because she's scared. Mm -hmm. After that, Bianca chick said some shit. She's like, hey, let me quickly just check my tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Let me apologize before I have to. Before, before I get cancelled. That's the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. And um, just remember, we take everything with a pinch of salt. Episode 8, guys. Episode Sunday eight. best. That was exciting. We had some good ones there, Brad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a good, it was a good one. The, the jump jump was my favorite, dude. <laughs> There's some good ones. So tune in next week, guys. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Like, share, like, share. tweet. You know the drill. Uh, this is jokes. Bye. Bye. Bye.